Microsoft Word gives us a lot of control over the layout of pages. This includes more than just increasing or decreasing the margins. We can also change the page orientation, switch to a multiple column layout, and center page content vertically. For each of these layout options, Word lets us apply the changes to the entire document or from a certain point forward. This is a schedule for our school's new student orientation. The second page is a list of campus clubs and groups that students can join. It looks pretty good already, but there are a few things we can change in the page layout to make it even better. All of the tools we're going to use today can be found in the Page Setup group of the Layout tab. The first thing you probably noticed about this document is that the margins are really big. We'd really like them to be a bit smaller. To change the size of margins, click the Margins button. From here, we can select any size margins we want from the list or click Custom Margins to choose a custom size. For now, let's choose Normal Margins. That looks much better. Now, let's work on the second page. This list of clubs would be easier to read if we divided it into two columns. Let's start by selecting the entire list, then clicking the Columns button. We can choose to have our text in one, two, or three columns. For this list, let's use two. By default, Word's pages are laid out in a portrait or vertical orientation. We want our page of campus clubs to be in a landscape or horizontal orientation. That's easy, right? We click the orientation button, then choose landscape. Well, that didn't work out so well. The reason is that Word thought we wanted to apply these changes to the entire document. To make only the last page landscape, there's an extra step we have to take. Let's undo this mess by pressing Ctrl Z on our keyboard. To put one page into landscape orientation, we'll start by putting the cursor at the beginning of the page. Next, we need to open the Page Setup dialog box by clicking this button. Under the Margins tab, click the Landscape option from the Orientation group. Then, in this box, choose to apply the change this point forward and click OK. Finally, let's center this information vertically on the page. The way to do this is very similar to what we just did. We'll start by putting our cursor at the beginning of the page and opening the Page Setup dialog box. Under the Layout tab, change the vertical alignment to Center. Apply the change to This Point Forward, then click OK. Microsoft Word gives us a lot of control over the layout of pages. This includes more than just increasing or decreasing the margins. We can also change the page orientation, switch to a multiple column layout, and center page content vertically. For each of these layout options, Word lets us apply the changes to the entire document or from a certain point forward.